Yeah, oh yeah. That's the yeah. That's the key. Yeah, West Virginia there. Pat ride me on the way over, and he said if I pick West Virginia there, I get free ride, uh, free plane rides to ride every week. So <laughs> you're in. That's I'm good in. business. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Hey, that's good All business, right. baby. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> Yeah, forget it. I got Utah. Cam Rising being back. He's healthy. I think Utah's the team to be coming out of the Pac-12 into the Big 12. All right, what about the SEC? SEC will go with Georgia. Like I said before, Georgia, Texas, and Alabama. But somebody's got to prove that they can beat Georgia. So I got to I gotta pick Georgia. <laughs> What's that coming down the track, though? Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia Bulldogs for me. AJ Styles, one of the guys I work with, massive Georgia, uh, Bulldogs guy, and uh, I'm pause. Closed captioning on. Board. That's an easy one, right? Easy, easy. 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 Yeah. 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 They just have to get to the conference championship game. Who wins the national championship? You didn't like my uh, my pick for the uh, Big Ten. You're not gonna like my national champion pick. Okay, Borg and the Ducks win it all. Okay, Tilly Gabriel, thank you. Let's go. That's going to be like the skill guy. <laughs> there you have it. But they do have a great quarterback, and they do have some fantastic skill, but I still go with the fact that somebody has got to prove that they can be joined. Who are they playing? Who are they going to coach? Who are you going to play? In the National Championship game? I got Oregon playing Georgia. I think that's the top team. Oregon. Yeah. Oregon and Georgia. Okay. To your point, uh, about Georgia improving it, it's like the way last year ended for the Georgia Bulldogs. With the way Kirby Smart coaches, with the way that locker room is pieced together, they weren't even allowed to complain about not being in the college football playoff because the Florida State fans were complaining so loud. They were the reigning champs, undefeated, lose to a great Alabama team last week of the year. I think Kirby has used all of that all off season. I think you got some mean dogs showing up this year with a lot to prove. Give me Georgia. National Chucks. We're in Dublin City. We're in Ireland. I got to go with the Fort Myers soldier there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Listen, last year, this street here in Dave Street is one of the most historic streets in this, in this city. They changed this street from Dave Street to Notre Dame Street. And Marcus Freeman has just... It's created a, a, a culture in Notre Dame at South Bar that was unbelievable. One of the, he's going to be the guy to bring the gold back. And there's going to be two plates, two ND plates on this championship at the I end of it. the year. I love that. <laughs> I, I love that. I don't know how I follow that. Yeah. I, uh, I'm with Dez. I, I picked Ohio State to win the Big Ten. But remember, now they get into the playoff. Who makes the run into the playoff? I have Dan Lanning. Dylan Gabriel and Oregon playing in the national championship. I got Oregon winning it all. Okay. And so now that we looked ahead, let's look to the precious present, what's about to kick off at Aviva Stadium for Coors Light Saturday selection. Florida State, Georgia Tech here in Dublin. Who wins the game, Doug? So we talk about the trenches, and I just think that Florida State is just way too big in the trenches on both sides of the ball. But for Georgia Tech, so I got Florida State winning this game, but it's going to be a competitive game. I think Georgia Tech is going to do a great job in this game of being able to run the ball, control the ball. They don't turn it over. They can play a little better defense. But I don't know if State's got too much deep, too much size for Georgia Tech to overcome the first one to see. I'm really get looking forward to watching Florida State run the football. You know, with, with this offense line, the backs they have, taking some of the heat off. Look for DJ to use that running game to set up play action, take shots. I think Haynes Key can hang around with Jamal Haynes, but I think Florida State wins this game. I believe that I was going to pick Georgia Tech this morning because of a doofus at the hotel who was a Florida State fan. But that being said, everything that's happened this offseason, a lot has been said. This crowd was remarkable. And then when I saw those warm-up clips of that Florida State team and the way they were acting, give me the Seminoles by a lot. I, I like Florida State by a lot. <laughs> Here in Ireland, but shout out to this Georgia Tech team in the face. You know, my head says that's FSU. My head says FSU, but my heart, my heart says Georgia Tech because. Let's go, 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 let's this country is built on underdog stories, and Georgia Tech are an underdog, and we have a carry man doing your, you know, what you used to.
so they're punting for George Tech. We gotta go for George Tech. I gotta go. Take it. How take it. I'm gonna get the punch and I didn't pick George Tech. <laughs> George Tech is a pick from Sheamus, and we're ready to kick off. Joe Tech's the call. Jesse Palmer has the call. Joe, take it away, my friend. Third.